Hello everyone, today I'll be customizing this brass streetcar. I found this Pittman streetcar at an antique mall when I was on vacation. It set me back about $80. It's an old brass kit that's very well built. The only piece missing was one of the trolley poles, so I feel like it was a good deal. This is one of the first brass pieces I have ever owned. I've been wanting to get into traction modeling for a while and felt like this was a good first step. As soon as I got home, I gave it a test run. All right, so here we are. First try running the um, Pittman or Bowser streetcar. I'm not quite sure who manufactured it, but it sets on the rails nice. Feels like it should run. Let's uh, give it a spin. Oh. So it is moving. It only moves in one direction because it doesn't have a reversing unit. Let me flip it around. Look at that. I'll flip this around again. This is actually quite a smooth runner straight out of the box. That is really smooth for an old model. That's an AC motor. I haven't touched it, I haven't cleaned it, and it is crawling. Look at that. With a little bit of work, this would be absolutely perfect. Already has the makings of a great runner. So let's uh, take this a little further. Even though the car ran well, I wanted to repaint it anyway. Disassembly was fairly easy and took me about 18 minutes. After disassembling it, I laid out all the parts and started working on them. I started by sanding the roof and repainting it black. It had an unsightly seam line which I tried my best to remove. Then I carefully and safely prepared the other parts to be painted. I chose to paint them in a Pullman green. Prior to painting, I added trolley retrievers to the ends of the car for trolley poles I plan to add later. After waiting for the paint to dry and sanding off grounding areas, the car was put back together. Reassembly went with few problems. While I was reassembling the car, I also went ahead and changed the grease and oil on the gears. Before I run it, I'd like to give some information on the prototype. This model is based off of a Brill Street car. Brill trolleys were ubiquitous in North American cities for decades. More often than not, they were subsequently replaced by the more modern PCC streetcars, and even later were replaced with trolley buses and diesel buses. Today, some cities like San Francisco and Philadelphia still use PCC streetcars in regular service. However, most Brill cars can only be seen running at museums. Once I put the car back on the track, it ran all right. However, I noticed sparking coming from the wheels on the power truck. That was not there before the customization. This must mean that the truck is taking in more current than it was engineered for. So I suppose the ground from one of the trucks is not ending up in the circuit. I had cleaned the contact points of paint before I reassembled it, so this was strange. But this can easily be remedied by running a ground wire between the two trucks. I did not refit the trolley pole upon reassembly. The original pole actually tracked quite well on the layout's wire, which is surprising because I did not design it with trolley poles in mind. It's still dewired frequently, though. Since one of the poles was missing anyways, I went to the hardware store and got some materials to make my own trolley poles that work with my wire. I might make a video about this in the future. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this project turned out. There is still a little ways to go, though. 
I want to eventually number and even add gold lining to this trolley, but I don't quite have the resources to do that now. If you enjoyed this video or have thoughts, make sure to leave a comment and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.